Okay, so welcome to this next video uh, in uh, the playlist on functional analysis. Uh, we are continuing with our study of metric spaces and uh, sequences uh, within metric spaces. Now, you might be expecting me now to start proving things like the, the limit uh, of a sequence a n plus b n, the limit of the sum of two sequences, or the limit of a scalar times a sequence, like one would do in an elementary course on real analysis. But I can't do that, the reason being that I can't define for you what, uh, say, if we have, let's say we have uh, our metric space x here, and we have two sequences, let's say uh, a and b, so the sequence a is a1, a2, a3, etc, and the sequence b is equal to b1, uh, b2, b3, etc. Okay, and we have some sequences, and um, these obviously have these this picture in the um, in the um, metric space. And here we are, have our sequence b1, b2, uh, b3, and they might converge on another limit. So let's say this is l2, and this is the limit l1. Okay, uh, so uh, you might want be expecting me now to start doing uh, the limit of these two sequences added together, but you can't do that because these are just elements. Uh, these are just symbols in our metric space, and the only structure we have in our metric space is a distance function between two symbols. It is not defined what it means to add symbol A1 to B1. I have not defined an algebra, yet any algebraic structure whatsoever, on uh, this metric space structure yet. Uh, we will, we will define algebraic structures on um, on these metric spaces because that's the that's function that's what makes it interesting when the when you start putting the algebraic structure on as well, uh, but we haven't got there yet. And uh, the reason you could do that in the real line was because the real real numbers have uh, a very well defined field algebraic structure on them, uh, and we are going to look at other. Uh, algebras on our more general metric spaces. So uh, obviously, it's obvious you've seen the, you have seen the algebra on Euclidean and unitary spaces, hopefully before. Uh, but it's less obvious how to imbue uh, our sequence spaces and our function spaces with uh, algebras. But we will do that, and uh, linear, and uh, the out sort of algebra that we will imbue them with is vector space algebras. Uh, but we're not there yet, and uh, we're going to continue just with metric spaces at the moment. So these do not have a structure that allows us to add uh, two, um, two elements together yet. So we can't do that yet. So uh, what we can do is we can say um, we could construct the sequence um, the distance between a1 and uh, b1 the distance between A2, B2. So if you have two sequences, there is something you can do, which is construct a new sequence of real numbers, which is the distance between A1 and B1. So that is um, this distance here, this distance between them there. So um, this here, this distance here, corresponds to this term of the sequence. Uh, then we say the distance between A2 and B2. So we can ask what's the distance between the second two terms of these two sequences. So this is the only thing we can do at the moment uh, when we have pair two sequences. We can ask, uh, we can construct a new sequence from them and we can construct it like this. So we can create a sequence of non-negative real numbers which is uh, the distance between each of the terms uh, made into a term of the sequence. A3, uh, B3 and uh, that will be the distance between, oh dear I haven't actually drawn it as a line yet, uh, that will be this uh, distance here. Okay, and we can go on and on and on, and we can ask, what is the limit of this sequence? So, what we're going to ask is, what is the limit, as n approaches infinity, of the sequence, the distance between a n, b n? And basically, what we're going to find is that uh, it's exactly what you expect it to be. It is the distance between these two limits, basically. It's going to converge on uh, the distance between l1 and l2. So if I um, highlight that again, so this is here is this distance here. So that's what it's going to converge on, but we want to prove that fact. 